Hello, welcome to our program, Inspiration from COVID-19. Today we have our guest, Justin Poy. Uh, who, he is uh, the head of, the owner of an advertising agency, and also he has done a lot of community works or fundraising, you know. Hi, Justin. Hello, Justin, how are you? Hi, I'm okay, yeah. Can you introduce yourself more a little bit? Sure, um, like you said, I, I uh, have an advertising agency. I've been in marketing for about 30 years. And uh, really what I've been most uh, most proud of, the work that I've been most proud of, is the work that uh, I've done in the in the community, especially in the Chinese community. Uh, I got involved back in the mid to late 90s um, with uh, the Manchuk Foundation. That was sort of my first introduction to doing community work. And I've, I've kind of been addicted to it ever since I... I, uh, I really do love um, working with uh, people in the community and and getting involved in different charitable causes. Yeah. Okay. So uh, as I say that today is the main focus about the COVID nineteen. Does yeah. the COVID nineteen outbreak affect your business, your agency business? Yes, absolutely. In fact, our business we just prior to the announcement of everybody having to uh, basically isolate themselves at home. Um, we had uh, landed probably, uh, we had worked throughout the year to land a number of contracts that come up in the spring. And that's what we do every year. Um, and uh, we had about six major contracts canceled. Like literally within 48 hours, we, we lost six contracts, major contracts. Um, and because we do a lot of marketing for events, and as you know, all events are canceled. So this has greatly affected um, the uh, our, our business activity, unfortunately. Uh, how I know that you're you're helping the PR work for the auto show. Does it affect yeah. the auto show? Yeah. Oh, you know the auto show. Very interesting. The auto show was February, end of February this year, and um, at, at end of February we hadn't really. I mean. You know, COVID nineteen. It was. It wasn't even called COVID nineteen yet. It was called coronavirus, and uh, people here, the general public, wasn't quite aware of it yet. Uh, at, around the time of the auto show, it still was considered very much uh, something that was happening in China. Um, they knew that a few people uh, from China had, had come into Canada and come into the U.S., but it wasn't really a big deal yet. Now, what happened at the show? was we observed that there were, like anecdotally, we observed that there were very few Chinese people at the show this year. Um, so definitely it affected uh, our attendance at the show, but we couldn't really put our finger on it. But the general public, no, they, they were fine. They were coming and uh, it didn't affect anything. Right after our show finished, about two weeks later, that's when everything happened. And uh, we were so lucky actually, Joseph. Uh, we were very, very lucky not to have been affected because uh, quite frankly, we don't really know what's going to happen coming coming up to the next year. Yeah. Yes. As you say that you lost about five, six major contracts. Will you be, if will you be able to get it back after the COVID nineteen? Well, yes. I mean, we've you know most people who had planned events they haven't canceled them. They've they postponed them, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so most people have said, okay, well we're postponing our event till uh, you know September or whatever. Um, and I think that's a that's a prudent move. Now, how, who knows how long this is going to last? Um, but if 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 this is over in in say uh, May or June, for sure people will bring back our contracts. Um, if it goes on any longer, then who knows? There could be you know uh, people can only hold out for so long, right? Yeah, that's true. But yeah. uh, uh, I know you know the provincial they have an essential business list. Is advertising one of them or one no, essential? It is not. Oh. And, and, you know, a, a lot of our business is in the automotive sector, as you know, mm -hmm. um, and uh, car sales are not considered essential, but car servicing is. Okay. So, you know, it, it is obviously very important that police, uh, ambulance, firefighters, they, they all get, must get their cars serviced. Mm -hmm. So servicing your car, if you can't, if people cannot have working vehicles, it's very dangerous. So that is an essential service. However, uh, buying a new car is not. So, you know, that part of the business has been affected as well. I see. So that means the uh, agency is not allowed to open or in operation. Then how about your staff? You have to lay on, lay on them or you have to, let's say, come on, get have a, a few weeks off? Or how does it work? Well, yeah, so um, 
So what happens is when you are talking about professional services, um, obviously we are allowed to work from home. That's not a problem. And we are, um, you know, they, they're basically telling businesses uh, the, the ones to close, they're basically saying are the ones that are, you know, like retail, retail. stores. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, businesses where they're open to the public and they just don't want people to be coming in off the street. So our, our business is not like that. So, yes, we are continuing to work. We're doing some uh, development, things like that. The, that we can continue from home. That's not that's not a problem. So everybody is still working. Um, let's put it this way. Are they working at full speed? Absolutely not. Uh, but you know what? I have to look after my staff. Uh, my staff has been very good to me. And, in fact, uh, they, they now have to stay home and look after their children because, you know, no daycares are open. Mm-hmm. So I do have staff that have some children. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I, I definitely did not uh, and do not want to lay off any of my staff. So I've kept them on full payroll for now. Um, you know, the federal government has announced a wage subsidy. And uh, as soon as that comes into effect, I'll have my uh, office, uh, my accountants look into that as well. So uh, the, yeah. the federal support may help a little bit. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, the federal support, uh, originally, when they came out and said 10%, I said, well, it's what am I going to do with <laughs> yeah, what am I going to do with ten yeah. percent? But uh, when they when they looked at what other countries were doing and said, okay, you know what, some of these other European, small European countries are doing percent, et cetera. So I think that was a very good move. Um, and, uh, all all the uh, companies have to do is prove that they have lost their income compared to last year at this time, mm-hmm. and uh, and then you know they'll be able to get the wage subsidy. So. Yeah. That's that's what I'm looking at. Yeah. So when you look at the like federal support or the CE Canada emergency response benefit, it looks like that they only take care of the employees, the staff, right? So they forget about yeah. the SME owners, <laughs> the one who yes. really pay the tax. Yes, and and that's interesting to say that because um, I was uh, you know listening to the radio today and. Uh, yeah, they, you know, people are talking about that, and it, it always seems like uh, the business owners, especially the small business owners, right? Yeah. They always get left out, yeah. um, and uh, I, I really hope that they do address that. Um, mm-hmm. Now, I have to say, I haven't read up on the absolute latest announcements. Hopefully, they will announce something uh, that will benefit the actual owners themselves and the self-employed people. Yes. Yeah, you know, the owner they really they provide the jobs, they pay tax. But at the end, Absolutely. they were left yeah. out. So. Yep. And, and very often, it's tough for um, you know uh, freelancers, um, uh, single uh, business yeah. owners and proprietors. Self employed well, yeah, people, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it, it's sometimes tough for them to prove what their income is, mm-hmm. right? Um, you know, because a lot of people say, oh, well, I'm self employed. But I think in this case, uh, you know, you just produce your, your tax papers if you've been in business for a couple of years, mm-hmm. and, uh, and it should be enough, right? Yeah. Yeah, but uh, according to some news report, they say even though they, uh, the, the federal government tried to help, they have a lot of bureaucracy. You have to apply. And then verify, approve, yes. and get in the money. And, so, and Joseph, you know what? When whenever there's an announcement of money from the government, you know it always takes quite a while for that. From the time they announce the money mm-hmm. to the time the money actually reaches your bank account, your yeah. pocket, yeah. <laughs> that could be a very long time. You know it's, that, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's already <laughs> been like two months from the oh, first yeah. case in Ontario. You know. You know, and then when you when you hear. Uh, you know, the politicians say, oh, don't worry, your health is most important yeah. and, you know, we want you to just focus on your health. Yeah, but you know what? They need to understand people every day have expenses yeah. and, you know, and the, the, the person, the grocery store is not going to say, oh, Joseph, don't worry, pay us next month. That's yeah. not going to happen. So yeah, the bill, yeah. bills are coming, right? So yeah. you have to pay. To pay yeah. yeah, absolutely. And also absolutely. don't wear the mask and then but basically you cannot get the mask on the market. So yeah. that's something... Uh, but okay, let's finish the let's finish the, your business side. How about your volunteer side? I do. I know that you have a lot of like what, like sick kid. How about their situations? Yeah. Well, so a lot of the uh, charities are suffering right now. Um, you know, the, the there there are many charities right now that uh, you know charities, for example, that help uh, rescue animals. Um, uh, charities that are really on they're not considered 
helping essential, you know, healthcare benefits and things like that, mm -hmm. um, they, they're suffering. Uh, now, if you are raising money for a hospital, the hospital foundations, um, you know, I'm on the Sick Kids uh, Foundation board and, uh, you know, we have a, a COVID-19 campaign. Um, we are now have a we now have a campaign to raise money for two um, uh, rapid testing kits. And, uh, um, you know, there's, there's a lot of uh, a lot of things that hospitals need to do during something like this in the you know, pandemic. However, um, there are many charities that have absolutely nothing. Now, people right now feel a lot of economic uncertainty. So it is very difficult to raise money right now, Joseph. It is, you know, I won't lie about that. It's very hard. Um, so I think that from a charitable standpoint, unless it is directly benefiting the issue and the pandemic, I think a lot of charities are going to have to hold off a bit. You know, like charities that uh, for the arts. Uh, mm -hmm. This is really not the time that you're going to get a lot of money. Uh, helping the arts, right? But you mentioned that uh, you're raising money for sick, for getting the the rapid test kit for the sick kids. Is, That's right. Is that the the test kit getting from the Ministry of Health? You know, you know the Christie Elliott, the Minister of Health, is saying, the, "Hospital, you want anything? Just ask me. I'll give it give it to you." That's not oh, the case. That, no, that no, no, no. That I don't know. I do, I, I I don't. Don't quote me on this. Okay. That I'm not sure where they're getting it, mm -hmm. um, and uh, you know. But I do know that uh, they're approximately. We're looking at getting two two machines. They're about 170 thousand a piece. Okay, that's a lot yeah. of money. And that's, yeah, that's that's what we're raising the money for right now. Yeah. That's it. So and then, but right now, you know, every country trying to combat the combat the COVID-19. I think you see, is it easy to get a machine or get a test kit because everybody. Want to gather uh, themselves? Well, yes. Everybody has their own test kits. Is that you know what? That's actually one of the uh, the things that has been the most frustrating for me mm -hmm. to watch every country yeah. have to develop their own test kit because they don't trust another country's test kit. Okay. Um, you know that doesn't make any sense to me. So you know, like China has their own test kit, and they've had test kits for months now. Mm -hmm. uh, the reason why the U.S has not been testing is because they didn't trust China's test kit. They didn't trust CDC's test kit. They want to develop their own. However, what I don't understand is if they don't trust their test kits, but they still trust the numbers, which are derived from the test kit. So okay. I don't really understand how that works, Joseph. I mean, if they're, if they're trusting the numbers yeah. from those countries, then that means they must ultimately be trusting their test kits anyway. Okay. But that's, that's the reason. That's the reason why there's so much delay. Mm -hmm. So, how about the COVID? Did it affect your lifestyle or your? I don't. Well, know. absolutely. We're all stuck at home, right? Yeah. You know, we're all stuck at home. I'm stuck at home, just like everybody else. Yeah. Mm, okay. So it oh. absolutely has uh, affected uh, my lifestyle. I see. So, as I like our title called "Inspiration from COVID-19," do you, uh -huh. you have any inspirations to share? Absolutely. You know, you want to know something? I was just talking to an old friend last night who I really uh, hadn't talked to in a long time. But lately, we've been messaging a lot and talking on the phone. And, you know, he said, Justin, you know, I, I really missed you. He said, I, I haven't talked to you in so long. And it's a shame that it took a pandemic for mm -hmm. us to get back together. And I said, you know, it's really, if there's one thing good that has come out of this, it has actually forced a lot of people to communicate again. And, uh, and I've been talking recently to a lot of people that have just come out of the blue and said, you know, Justin, I, I haven't talked to you in a long time and I was thinking about you and, uh, and I've had some wonderful conversations. And I think if anything good comes out of this, it's that we are now forced to reconnect with a lot of people mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and basically reevaluate what's important in our lives. And I think that's very important. And, you know, in, in today's lifestyle, the Everybody are busy about work, play, you know. Absolutely. Events, and right. suddenly we find lots of free time. Yep. And, uh, and, and lots of free time mm -hmm. so we can rediscover what's important to us. Mm -hmm. um, you know, because we get so busy with making deals, making money, uh, doing business, um, you know, uh, can canceling family things and things with friends just to, to uh, uh, meet uh, work obligations, I think this is maybe even it's good for us. Yeah. And you know, I think you are on IT uh, industry before. Uh, one thing that they, they say, internet change, changes changes the world, changes the lifestyle. 
now the COVID-19 also changes as well, changes uh, lifestyle. You're right. So. And it's, it's sad that it has to be a pandemic that does this. But, you know, I think throughout history, this has probably happened, right? Yeah. Like, for example, look at the, the student side, the, the education side. They can go to school now. They have to rely on internet learning, e-learning. Yeah. All right. So most most of the people, I have a uh, Chinese music teacher. They say you can yes, teach sir. the children. They go to the internet. They use the WeChat for teaching. So suddenly, right. suddenly everything goes online. Then, yeah. then it's a little bit contradict with the one you just say. If I have, you find some free time, you can reconnect with your old friends, right? But, yeah. But yeah. The, the online thing is is putting the people connect together, but in the distance. Right? Yeah. Well, that. there are things that will definitely change, Joseph. I mean, I think there's things that we are doing now because it's a pandemic, mm -hmm. you know. But we may never go back to the way it was before. Yeah. You know, um, and, and maybe that's a good thing. Mm. Maybe that's a bad thing. I don't know. But yeah. um, certainly there are things that will change. Absolutely. I mean, who knows? You know, the uh, shaking hands, depending on how this all ends, yeah. maybe shaking hands is over. I don't know. Mm -hmm. No hug yeah. no hug anymore. Hugging yeah. anymore. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, uh, it's interesting, eh? Yeah, that's yeah. not true. Yeah. yeah. Uh, back, back to you about your advertising business. So as I say that, I mean, uh, some business, they have to change from like face to face to online will that will your advertising agency maybe changing the strategy for your client or getting a different marketing perspective for the future uh, business well it won't really affect uh, it might affect the type of business that we get or the type of clients um certainly yeah. um but i would say that in the last three weeks uh we have done so many presentations so much communication using zoom skype go to meeting um and it's been actually wonderful to see how efficient mm -hmm. it is you know to be able to hop from virtual room to virtual room giving digital presentations it's great oh. i mean i've wasted no time driving in the car <laughs> okay <laughs> save the environment right that's they say that's yeah that's absolutely. pollution Let's let's uh, transmit. So let's try. Let's, I, let's try. I've used hardly any gas, yeah. and uh, all the satellite pictures show that most cities now have very little pollution, very little air pollution. Mm -hmm. So that's yeah. what one way and the other. Huh? So yeah. yeah. Okay. Absolutely. So good. It's nice talking to you, and then we hope, you, we hope the pandemic will go away soon, and then everybody <laughs> be safe and healthy. All right. Thank you, Joseph. Okay. Thank you very much. All right. You take care. Bye bye. Yeah. Take care. Bye bye.